Enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. I'm happy to see that you made it out into the theater, was it twice this week? I made it twice. I almost made it three times, but I got scared. For about 10 to 15 minutes mm-hmm. each time. Yeah. Um, just doing my rounds, making sure everything is ship shape. I mean, you're doing your rounds. You were sprinting from from station to station in the theater. Well, I was also seeing how fast I could do my rounds because I really didn't want to be out there. You didn't even like stop to ask how things were. You just shouted as you ran by. Mm-hmm. Everything looks good here, except it, it got more Doppler effect. <laughs> so I guess you failed failed to uh, notice. Um... Just all Notice the, what? the the bird droppings. You also had your eyes closed. Well, I it, it, it was overwhelming. It was a- anxiety. <laughs> yeah, hands over your ears, eyes closed, mm-hmm. shouting, shirtless. Well, I yeah, I didn't have a shirt pressed. You wanted to look professional. Yeah, but you you didn't have a shirt. <laughs> I put on my best boxers. I mean, I'm gonna say I don't think it would have helped, even if you had were were wearing a press shirt, because you were also still running full speed, eyes closed hands over your ears it was pretty funny when you ran into that customer though yeah just that did hurt and um i do kind of feel bad for how long i yelled at them and like, you tri- i mean you you went head over right over their wheelchair yeah and i was and i was not holding back either like i i i think i i had some pent up aggression and mm-hmm. i just laid in i feel like that line about four wheels was a was that over the line? I mean, the whole thing was really inappropriate. It wasn't a good look. Mm. Especially since that guy was the health inspector. Yeah. Oof. He was back. Remember, because oh. he, he came in and uh, we were giving him the cheese balls, but they had hair in them, uh, which was unfortunate. Then he returned this time, now in a wheelchair, and I really hope that wasn't a result Oof. of our food. Oh, no. I mean, it couldn't be, right? That's really high-quality cheese, right? It's very high-quality cheese. But you'd also it. put your own hair into it, so... Well, yes. <clears throat> what quality else, is what the else hair? do you put in the, in the cheese balls? <laughs> we can that? stick pickles in them for people, but... You can stick pickles in. I mean, I, 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 I don't understand why nothing else can be put into, into this cheese. It's very high-quality cheese. Well, when it starts making paraplegics i think i think that's where the line is drawn when it starts causing people the loss to lose their lose use the of, their, of legs. their limbs i have no answer for this that's what you said on the news last night too in the uh... yeah i think that went pretty well i wish i could i wish i had a press shirt <laughs> yeah you're shirtless again uh, uh you also had your your eyes closed still but you didn't have your hands over your ears so you could hear the questions yes but... I just, I, I, I just want everything to go back to normal. I yeah, you invited, you invited the health normal. inspector back. You're like, let me yes. make it up to him. We'll give him a free movie ticket. Yeah. But then, of course, when he comes in, you run over him. I trample over him and I and call he... him, and I call him Johnny Four Wheels. And then I, I did a, I did a, I, I, I did a pretty good impression of him when I picked up his wheelchair. Yeah, and I got don't in it, do that impression again. And I wheeled around and I, and I called myself Johnny Four Wheels. Yeah. Going up to people asking, are you healthy? Are you healthy? That's not what a health inspector does. But <laughs> What does he do? I mean, what has that guy done? Huh? I own a theater. Don't try to get I started a business now. of renting out parrots to people and dressing people up as pirates. That's not, this is, we're not your customers. Well, then why have you been paying me? I haven't I don't been think you me. understand how this works. How did, You're paying us. Is that where all my money's going? Yeah, you really don't understand just like... Oh. I was going to say economics, but you don't understand just basic... Basic principles of math. Uh, okay, so say I have three apples. If I have two employees and each one gets paid half an apple for, uh, uh, for three days, uh-huh. if they work six days each, how many apples do I have left? Uh, one. Man, I wasn't even able to follow that. Because they each get paid half an apple. For three days. For three days. So over six, six days, they each get paid a full apple. Oh, okay. So you had started with three apples, so minus two is one. So you got one apple left. But you see how... But you... I don't have any apples right now. 
this because Wait, it's you been started than, this. It's been, it's been several weeks now, Greg. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You're not bringing in apples, so you're just giving out apples. Okay. Okay. So maybe, maybe we make the switch from cheese to apples. I don't think it's going to solve your problem. Just changing the thing. But then what thing. will? Oranges? No, 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 no. Not changing I mean, the, the, the food we're serving. I mean, the cheese, the cheese balls are selling. I'm, cheese balls I'm are surprised selling. that customers still come in here. That's the, I mean, the, the only thing that's making any money are the cheese balls. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know how much you spend on the, the cheese balls. I believe they're very high quality cheese. <sighs> they're really high quality cheese. But if there is uh, 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 a first tier for cheese... Like a top shelf? A top shelf cheese. We got it. All right. This is Michelin five star cheese. People aren't even going into the theaters anymore to watch movies. People are showing up to buy cheese balls. Okay. Look at a couple of parrots that are just, I mean, there are dozens of them, but only a few are still like around. Around. Most Locatable. have gone into the ceiling. Okay. This is giving me giving me an idea. Nobody wants movies anymore. People want cheese and parrots. Okay. Okay. Brainstorming. Here's the okay. deal. We change this establishment from a theater to a cheesemonger slash our a bird. Or an aviary. An aviary. Aviary. And we call it apparently. <laughs> Apparently cheese. Apparently cheese. <laughs> is this wow, a pirate nice, themed? Nice, or nice pivot. No, Thank you a good so pivot. much. This is why you're such a successful business. This man. is why I make so many apples. Now we need to figure out <laughs> what to do with all of these theaters. <laughs> is this a good idea? Because I, I, I think we got some money here. People keep coming in for the cheese. People keep coming in for the parrots. How Wah. much are you making on the cheese balls? We sell them for twenty cents a piece, and it's a, a softball it's size a soft ball of size. cheese. I can't imagine I you're can't making. I can't imagine much. you're making any money, really. You, you're, you've said you're not good at numbers. I mean, you change the prices of everything across the board, and it's kind of all over the place because popcorn is seventy five dollars up for a small. Yeah, and soda it's uh, twenty nine ninety nine a pop. <laughs> That's just fun. And then cheese balls <laughs> for twenty cents. Yeah. Three, three for 20 cents. Three for, three for 20. Yeah. The math works out. No. <laughs> I mean, it works out not in your favor, but... People are buying them People are buying by them. the dozen. People are buying them and then going outside to sell them. Yeah. Did you see... I've actually been buying them back. Did you <laughs> see the review we got for our cheese balls? No. What did it say? Was there one... <laughs> Uh, you said that with such confidence, I assumed you had read one. Maybe I'll check our Yelp. Here, let me check our Yelp. Talk amongst yourselves. Henry, how are you? Those are some fetching pats you wear. Thank you. They actually uh, go all the way up. All the way up? Yeah. Take you your see... shirt off. If that's not too much no, for see, me look, to ask. It's still just oh pants. Oh my god. That's just one... There's a zipper and buttons. Yeah. They call them uh, cover alls. Cover alls? Huh. Is that a thing that you invented? Yes. Cover alls. All right, you I'm know, on I the think... Yelp page. What's that? I'm on our the Cineplex's Yelp page. How many stars do we have? Uh, we've got one star. Oh, nice. No, it's out of what five. We we only have one review. It's from a couple of years ago. Um, it looks like it's from James in the ceiling. Oh my God. He's requesting better seagulls. Better seagulls. He says here. Let me just read it. This theater, while showing wonderful movies such as Pickle Hero, mm-hmm. Pickle Man Be Praised, needs better seagulls. Seagulls are stringy and no meat. Hmm. Oh, but it looks I like might it's... might be loving these parrots then. Yeah, yeah, man, if James... They've got a bit more bone on them. They're going up in the ceiling if he's there. Um, but it, it, it looks like this was sent from your account. My account? Uh, he did get a hold of your phone that one point. Oh, that's true. He was... I thought he was a deer. This theater is a weird place. What makes you say that? <laughs> so, I'm thinking we change it from a theater to a parrot showing cheese place. Uh-huh. I think we already have all the pieces. We have parrots and we have cheese. We have parrots and we have cheese. Did you ever open that email from Derek? I don't know how. I'm hiring an assistant. Okay. You know, I could open your email for you. 
Oh my god! I Would could you open please? your email for you. Somebody open this goddamn email. What? Are you telling me I don't have to pay for an assistant? You should pay me for opening your email, but whatever he's charging, I'll do it for half. Ooh, that's okay. funny because I was gonna charge half of what he's doing. So half of what he's doing. Okay, whatever he's doing, multiply it by four. Oh, that's four more. <laughs> I'll throw in an apple. What? You'll throw in an apple? Yeah. Holy hera! Right, mul- two apples. Two. You'll you'll throw in two apples? No, you'll you'll give me the apples. Oh my god, Kyle, what's your counter offer? You know what? I can't go higher than one apple, so I guess you can you can have this one, Henry. So, Henry, you for opening up my email, I will give you two apples, and you will be getting paid four of whatever you were going to offer. That was half of the half <laughs> that Kyle right. offered. Yeah, yep. that sounds right. And we'll figure out the details on that later. All right. Yeah, you can do I'll that let you speak this. to my assistant. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, we figured that out. Yeah, Sweet let's, deal. Let's get to the podcast. Oh, let's get to the podcast. Yes. Welcome to oh, wow. Break Room at the Cineplex. That's Hello. Quite, quite the banter. <laughs> We're getting a lot of business done. We yeah, sit down golly. to record this and we end up just talking business. Oof. Talking shop. Yep. As it were. Um, so this week we watched uh, another movie submitted by a listener. This one's from uh, from at Petite Nick on twitter with nick with two k's and i k k thank you nick yeah thanks petite nick La petite nick uh the the La tweet says at cineplex podcast fruit cake chronicles is my go-to movie for the holiday season and oh my goodness i'm surprised we haven't talked about this this series before yeah the fruit cake chronicles the fruit cake chronicles huge um mm-hmm. we're not i mean we we do our holidays a little bit differently around here so we don't have like a big christmas season which i know yeah i don't know why i know outside of timberdale these movies are shown on just a loop for like the whole month of december yeah i feel like that would get boring yeah we're i mean here in timberdale we can you imagine like a whole month month and a half of just one holiday oh Uh, my god what about all the other ones don't they get lonesome i mean they all have uh, an amount of time but what 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 do you mean let's not get into it uh but Fruitcake Chronicles. Fruitcake Chronicles. So, I mean, at Petit Nick only brought up Fruitcake Chronicles as a whole. We, As we know, this is a huge series. So I yeah. guess we, we picked which one we wanted to watch. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I believe, pick- Henry, you, yeah. you selected your favorite. Yeah, which was uh, Passion Fruit Crumbles. Passion mm. Fruit Crumbles. Part yeah, of the uh, which, Fruitcake which, Chronicles. Yeah. I, I, I personally like uh, a Cranberry Caper. But this th- this one's very good, the passion fruit crumbles, mm-hmm. which is uh, very good. Easily my second. What's your favorite one? Uh, oh, I like uh, candied danger. Candied danger. But uh, mm-hmm. we watched uh, passion fruit crumbles. Passion though. fruit crumbles. Uh, Plum this... paradise is also very good. Plum, Plum paradise, paradise is fantastic. Is a classic. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. We decide well, the reason we decided on passion fruit crumbles though is because the plot is uh, one of the easier ones to follow. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more straightforward, and and it being one of the first of the chronicles, it also like gives you a little bit more character introduction. It gives right, you the cast is idea. smaller. They right. haven't, you know, mm-hmm. later on they're just adding more and more. Yeah, they're just adding so much. So this this one centers around the uh, the great fruit war. Wait, 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 when the stone fruits. Rose up against the berry people, the berry folk. It's 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 th- th- there are a lot of um, parallels to civil rights, uh, uh, which is why I love these. I, I they're I, timeless. Yeah, yeah, I recommend these for kids because it really teaches them about different fruits, about different fruits <laughs> that might be in a fruitcake, and how all of these fruits come together and they make a mediocre dessert. <laughs> Uh, uh, the, uh, the passion fruit princess, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, of the passion fruit empire. Penelope. Penelope, passion fruit. She's next in line for the throne. Mm -hmm. King Kumquat is, (laughs) is close to death. He's rotting in his deathbed. (laughs) And he, he calls her over and and he's like, and he's like, Patricia, you're Penelope. He calls her over. <laughs> his, his brain is rotting. Yeah. It's, it's, it's going. It's mush. It's, it's kumquat. <laughs> it's kumquat. He calls her over and says, Penelope, you're next in line for the, for the, for the throne. 
You must stop running out into the world, going on your adventures. You must protect yourself, Penelope. And this is a callback to the uh, first in the series where mm-hmm. Penelope Passionfruit was introduced as a character and went on this zany adventure. Yeah, ha- yeah. she's a happy-go-lucky tomboy. And in the process, started this war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, through a series of wacky events, which I don't think we should get into. No, I mean, no. people are yeah, super catch up to the series. Yeah. You can if watch if you haven't watched this series before, um, do now. <laughs> and in the city, we see all the berry folk that live in the in 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 the the city there mm-hmm. all the berry people they're 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 wandering around and they're they're being like hey how's it going good to see you strawberry good to see you raspberry blackberry you're looking good or something i don't know this is this, this is blackberry's like whoa man <laughs> hey now hey now i have a name <laughs> uh, but this is yeah and penelope is now the ruler so king kumquat passes away he does yes indeed uh he he rots down to the core mm-hmm. they're like well that's it and they they drop him into a big a green bag big that's cost- sort of combo. translucent and, and they throw uh, him into the pyre yeah yep. like well ashes to ashes and uh, they're all they're all sitting around the pyre mm-hmm. and and this descent is just hitting them and they're like mm, that smells like 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 kumquat, kumquat. And, and that's when they hear a bell chime mm-hmm. tung tung and people just start to like kind of look up from the pyre and be like what what is happening and they hear we're under attack oh, people yeah. chaos erupts mm-hmm. in the kingdom and um we see like people up on the wall running with torches uh people running with like bow, bows and arrows uh going up to the wall yeah um, and by people you mean berries i do mean berry folk yeah yeah, uh, obviously, people. it's an animated yeah. movie, so I mean, we kind of just draw characters. our own conclusions yeah. from these characters. But uh, Penelope Passionfruit is is she's she was standing by her father's pyre and kind of taking in the, the wonderful scents that were you know going mm-hmm. around. We around. get the idea that this is a traditional sort of funeral. You just take right. the fruit, toss it on a fire, and smell. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> she she's like, okay, well, like. I need to like get to safety. Like we're under attack. I need to get to safety. And she she, she runs to the base of a tower, mm-hmm. and she's running up the staircase. And she gets to the top of the tower, and she like gazes out upon what is a battle scene at this point. Yeah, there's a full fledged battle happening. The stone fruits are attacking mm-hmm. uh, the berry kingdom, and uh, you know the the common folk down below are running into like just chaos. They're they're completely panicked, mm-hmm. and she's able to kind of scream out from her tower and rally the people a little bit she's like you know the stone fruits are here but we can take back our kingdom we can take back our land and we knew this day was coming yeah, we, conflict we has been brewing for years we prepared for this uh, uh, uh and she yells berries the cream and so that the, the berries start carrying a big tub of <laughs> whipping cream mm-hmm. they, they, they bring it to the to the gate and and as the stone fruit, they, they they all line up with celery sticks, and they're banging them up against the mm-hmm. up against the doors. They're Which trying c- to celery down. is not it's alive not, in this world. It's no, just fruits. No, it's just fruits. Vegetables <laughs> are fair game. <laughs> they're, they're hammering celery up against the up against the door. They're trying to break it down, and and the berries bring the cream, and they they dump it over. Uh, they dump it over the the wall, mm-hmm. and it splashes onto the uh, onto the stone fruits. And it's so thick that they're it's like so struggling they can't to move get anymore. out. Anymore, they're like, ah, it's meringue. <laughs> <laughs> so this battle wages wages for a long time. It's a good portion of the film. They really get right to it. Yeah, golly, it was it was if anything more of a war film. I mean, and it's it's I think every it's... bit as disturbing as the opening of. Uh, of saving private ryan saving private mm-hmm. ryan oh and just goodness. as iconic i mean and, uh it is it is it is very powerful like well powerful in the sense that it's 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 exhausting mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like it just keeps going and and every so often it gets like it hits a point where you think oh wow i'm happy that's over there was there was a one scene in particular I can mm-hmm. think of is mm-hmm. when they beat back like the initial force of the stone fruit and then they start to kind of like cheer amongst themselves and then yeah. like the bells toll again yeah. and you Ding. see more stone fruit it's pouring like, over uh-huh. the another they wave. They've and brought they, pineapples. They, they're like climbing over the other bodies of the other stone fruit and they're like keep putting up ladders. They keep getting pushed down, so they keep putting back the ladders yeah. up and it's like. 
You understand the pointlessness of war. The peaches. It's the peaches. <laughs> <laughs> so when 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 the chaos lets up finally, um, night has passed and turned into morning. It's dawn, and Penelope is walking through the, what remains of her kingdom, mm-hmm. and there are berries squished oh, and crushed. Yeah, there's juice just. She looks over and there's there's the pit of one of the stone fruits and she vomits uh, just <laughs> from the sight. There's a berry mm-hmm. who's trying to put the the other pieces of his berry back onto himself. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's trying to attach, reattach his stem. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's just she's looking around and she you get this this feeling of like she didn't ask for this like what horrible timing that the night that she becomes a new ruler mm-hmm. now she is is given this responsibility. But she goes out and she uh, she steps out of the kingdom and, and everything is quiet and there's the stone fruit encampment just up over the hill um, and the few remaining troops there and the general and she's like I'm gonna go meet with the general of the stone fruits mm-hmm. uh, who is of course an avocado mm-hmm. and she's like okay boysenberry raspberry fall in with me mm-hmm. you're gonna be my bodyguards here mm-hmm. and so they they. Uh, we they, we protect your princess. Don't worry about they it. They climb on their zucchinis, <laughs> <laughs> which are climb on their zucchinis. They're horses, essentially. Yeah, yeah. it's and a vegetable. So they're galloping yeah. in their on their zucchinis over to meet the general. Mm-hmm. And we see the general. He's got his visor, his avocado visor down, and uh, and he's he's like, "Oi there, mateys!" And and they're like, "Okay, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right." Um, I think enough people have died enough berries and enough mm-hmm. stone fruit have died We've... how much longer you think this can go on and and uh and she's just like you know we've been making we've been making purees from each other for so long now i don't think we could we could ever go back to like the way mm-hmm. things were before this but i think we can make amends with each other mm-hmm. and he's not having any of it Mm-mm. he keeps he keeps like you know a like verbally abusing her essentially yeah, yeah just yeah. like calling her out like you're always the ones that get eaten first in the fruit salads like <laughs> i'd like to make a jam out of you like, <laughs> and and it can't be the simple syrup <laughs> and and like really an abrasive avocado yeah and and she's she's like okay well nothing's happening here like boysenberry do do your work and he pulls out his his toothpick and he just mm-hmm. skewers one of his one of his men and mm-hmm. she's like listen we're talking right now like we don't want anybody else to die <laughs> <laughs> and she's like i believe that you are rotten to the core <laughs> but i'm willing to sit down and talk peace if you are he's like peach and he's like no peace no peace <laughs> And there's a guy off the, over behind one of the tents who goes, "Sorry, what? Me? Yeah, <laughs> I'm Peach. What do you need?" <laughs> they uh, they go into the the castle. They return to to the uh, berry fortress. Yeah, and they sit down at either end of this very long table. And right as the uh, the peace talks are about to start, the bells start tolling. The bells start tolling again, and she's like, the, "These bells. Wait, the, these are a higher tone. These aren't our war bells." These are our gift from another country bells. <laughs> so she goes up to the the top of the rampart. She's like, like a hold little on. jingle. They're like, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> she's like, hold on one second, avocado. Uh, and she goes up to the top of of her tower and she looks out and and there's a new group of fruit, cherries, cherries, and they're wheeling a giant wooden cherry <laughs> <laughs> towards the castle. She's like, well, this is a nice surprise. We've always had a, a pretty good relationship with the cherries. Yeah. Cherries are basically berries. Cherries are pretty much berries. And so they, they open the gates, and the bo- big wooden cherry is rolled in. It's rolled in. Squeaky, 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 squeaky. Yeah, it's not on wheels. It's just, it's it's just, just rolled. It's just a big, <laughs> but it's just squeaks. a big cherry. And they're like, this is a symbol of the peace between our, our nations. Mm-hmm. We And know and no, that, that uh, uh, if things get really bad with these folk over there, with these stone fruits... We got your back. Cherries, we're pretty much berries. We're pretty much berries. We're berries at heart. We come from a stem, okay? Like all you. the way down to our pits. All we're almost way, cherries. All the way down berries, to I mean. our pits. <laughs> and, and at that point, and, and at that, that point, Penelope's like... Right. Pits? Mm. And the, the wooden cherry bursts open. Bursts open, and out jump... 
nectarines. <laughs> This the nectarines are just pouring. <laughs> nectarines. There's, there's like a hundred nectarines in there. <laughs> and they are armed to the teeth. Uh, and they, they, they jump out. And they have a lot of teeth. These they nectarines got, just have these sharp, razor sharp teeth. And they and they're 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 they jump out and they start they just start massacring. Yeah, they they're almost like feral. They yeah, they're goodness. just ripping the berries apart. They and, they are they, they are just a juicer. And Penelope runs runs back to the meeting room, and mm-hmm. the avocado is still sitting there, and she's like, like we're under attack. And he's like, Yeah, I know. Like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cherries, uh-huh. cherries, they're stone fruit. They're stone fruit. Okay. <laughs> you should have like, known this. They're the not whole, pretty much berries. The whole battle last night was just to weaken your forces. I knew mine would take a hit, but I had my secret truce with the cherries and she's like what do you want what is it that you want and he's like (laughs) we want to be treated like any other fruit damn it and she's like all right that's fine and he's like well i'm i'm taking you as a prisoner and so he grabs her and he runs he comes out and he's like we got what we came here for boys and they and they 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 run out of the city they all they pile back in the cherry and (laughs) they reconstruct it all back out (laughs) And um, she's she's like, well, fine. I will go as your captive as long as this killing stops. Mm-hmm. This was all I wanted, and you're getting what you wanted, I guess, because we'll treat you like a regular. Yeah, fruit. we're fine with that. Mm-hmm. He runs out with her, and the 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 killing stops. Mm-hmm. Years pass now. Right, she's been imprisoned. They they take her back to Stonehenge. Stonehenge. They take her back to Stonehenge, mm-hmm. where uh, uh, Stone where, Fruit Henge. Stone Fruit Henge. <laughs> <laughs> and they keep her captive there <clears throat> for years, for years and years and years. And and, and meanwhile, back in uh, in the Passion Fruit Kingdom in 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 Berry City, the steward Salmonberry is there, mm-hmm. and he he's looking over things, and he's like he's like, we must find a way to get our princess back. We've had no government for years. Anarchy has just. <laughs> Been on the rise, lo, these many years. Granted, there's only a handful of citizens left alive. Because we're <laughs> we are simple people. Yes, yes. We need our princess. Oh my! The our vines. Queen. The vines have only grown back so much yes. after they were burned during the battle. Yeah, and so so they, they the vines that the yeah, berries where the grow. children grow on. Uh, yeah, uh, the salmon the salmon berry. Uh, s- s- uh, he he brings in he brings in a tomato. <laughs> To help draft technically up, a fruit, <laughs> to help daf, uh, draft up a um, peace treaty yeah. between the stone fruits and the berries, mm-hmm. they send a a a, a blackberry on a zucchini off to stone fruit henge mm-hmm. to deliver this message, and uh, and the avocado gets it and he reads it and he's like, and he's like, it's been years. I thought they'd forgotten about her. <laughs> Honestly, I'd forgotten about her. She's just been in do the we, dungeon this whole do time. Do we still have? The princess? Is she alive? Well, wow. Who was feeding her? We actually have been getting treated by regular fruit for a little bit now. So, mm-hmm. like, we're feeling yeah. pretty good about ourselves. Definitely just let her go. Yeah. yeah. And so, <laughs> they do. In a she wonderful conclusion. And so satisfying. Santa arrives. Yep. It's Because it's, it's Christmas Day. Because it's Christmas. Yeah. Yes. And he's <laughs> giving all the presents to everybody. And mm-hmm. Santa inexplicably is uh, a loaf of bread. And he's like, do do do, Merry Christmas!" And so he starts he starts handing out all the presents to all the fruits. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And and um, he gives he gives to Penelope. He gives her freedom. <laughs> he gives her the key to her handcuffs and mm-hmm. lets her go home. Uh, to the to the cherries, he he gives he gives them uh, an even larger wooden cherry. For and, their next invasion. And to the stone fruit, he's like, you guys kind of suck, actually. You were on the, mo- the naughty list because mm-hmm. you imprisoned somebody for years and committed massacre. It's called the moldy list in this world. Right. <laughs> and so he's like, you get coal. And they're like, well, that's great. We can use it for our war machine. And he's like, okay, well, Merry Christmas all. And he gets in his sleigh, well, his his uh, his bread bag, and he flies away. Mm-hmm. Pulled by biscuits. Penelope, she arrives home for the first time in in years. And And she is greeted with so much love. So much love. So much love. And a lot of really 
not quite ripe yet grapes that are still yeah, young still that are a little little discolored yeah but yeah. they're they're growing up they're, they're hitting puberty and mm-hmm. she's like this is my call and this this is why i was meant to lead is is i i can rally the people behind a uh, me i can be used as a bargaining chip mm-hmm. to get what we want we want and um yeah from this point on she's she she's doing very well Hmm. and uh we kind of get this this post scene after she's like her arc is concluded of, yeah. of the stone fruits building their war machine mm-hmm. and kind of preparing for the the next assault yeah mm-hmm. which follows in the next in the next in the series mm-hmm. right. a lot of war in these films <laughs> yeah yeah um but that passion fruit crumbles that was passion fruit crumbles uh from the which... fruit cake Fruitcake Chronicles. 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 Yeah, which mm-hmm. was, this was a good one, because mm-hmm. uh, I feel like Penelope really was kind of, her her kingdom was in crumbles, but she's kind of rebuilt it at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's rebuilding from the crumbles. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we said, just incredibly straightforward. <laughs> right. <laughs> just the easiest point A to point one to B, follow point along B. that I can think of. Yeah. yeah. The others kind of get a little bit more political, a little, a little there's more a little convoluted. more depth. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Banana Rama down in Alabama. Yeah. Oh, that one... That one's kind of problematic these that days. That gets but dicey. Yeah. Really? Um, um, that's probably got to be heavily edited if they're showing that on TV. But unless yeah. it's on HBO or something. But Yeah. Yeah, the Fruitcake Chronicles. Good stuff. Good stuff. A staple of the holiday season, apparently. I guess so. Yeah. We no, watch it's not in ours. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, whenever I'm we want. I'm surprised that, it's, that it is such a staple for the holiday season. I mean, yes, yeah, Santa shows up, but briefly. It's a loaf of bread. <laughs> That's all it takes. They, that's they all couldn't it takes. get the real Santa, I guess. People say that these are a few of my favorite things. That that song's a Christmas song because it mentions packages. It, that's true. It so, mentions packaging and it mentions snowflakes. Yeah, that's all it takes. Does it mention sleigh rides? I don't it think does. so. Does it? Yeah. It mentions bee stings. That's true. That's the one. That's what makes it Christmas. That's true. That's what makes it Christmas. And when a dog bites you, man. Christmas. When Christmas. I'm feeling sad, that's what makes it Christmas. <laughs> Did you guys have a favorite part? Uh, favorite part or, or favorite character, character or, or line or, or dialogue? Uh, um, it doesn't have to be a dialogue. It could be a monologue. <laughs> oh well, I did like the the monologue that the tomato gives when the salmonberry is telling him that the stone fruits want to be treated like an act like actual fruit. And the tomato starts talking about how he's always been called a vegetable his entire life, mm-hmm. and how Which nobody is a gave slur in mm-hmm. this world. Like people are like people are like you, 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 uh, you dirty veggie, you're down in the dirt, you veggie. Yeah, and <laughs> and he's saying to them, I was born on a vine just like you. I'm as much berry as anyone, and and, and it, really powerful it is stuff. Pretty moving. Made a lot of sense too. Yeah, and they dig more into that theme and into the tomato sort of mm-hmm. lifestyle yeah, the, tomato, and, the, the and, lore yeah uh, the um, culture. in one of the later films which was uh, tomato tomato and yeah but this is like the first sort of indication that there's this whole other like thematic element going on yeah that's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just kind of scratch the surface here and, but and very very um advanced stuff mm-hmm. like for these seemingly chilled uh, ch- 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 children films it's yeah i guess mm. I don't think they're really children i mean it's mostly war in this a lot one. of violence yeah but i mean it's animated <laughs> therefore they're for kids kids uh kids. did you have a favorite part or a line um, of dialogue or, or line of dialogue or monologue i mean the tomato monologue is a tough one to beat it's a good one i guess my favorite part would have been the end of the movie when princess penelope passion fruit mm-hmm. is uh she's she's kind of overlooking her kingdom the last time and she sees all the kids sprouting up the ground i really liked that they put the old the older folks um in in that scene mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. the little like raisins and dates and stuff and right. i really like that they put that just like whole generations have gone by yeah, yeah. like okay maybe it was more than just a couple of years she was gone yeah. that's actually a very good point but like passion fruits live longer than grapes that's true. Right? Yeah, passion fruits yeah. live longer than grapes, and it was an extra sunny year that year. Yeah. So you're gonna get it. You're gonna get some raisins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess they don't need a raisin to put that in the film. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you say reason? Yes. Okay. 
Well, let's go ahead and get to ratings. Um, Did you say raisins? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh I, i'll give this one i'll give this one an, an eight out of ten i think this is one of the classic fruitcake chronicle movies it's one of the mm-hmm, ones consistently mm-hmm. you'll see these lists on the internet that are like top 20 fruitcake, fruitcake chronicle, chronicle films, films and like this is consistently in the top and five yeah seriously i mean it's 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 with most of with most of the movies it's really hard to get it down to just 20 mm-hmm so, but this one is it would be consistently in my top five as well yeah uh, and for that i would i would too give it an eight out of ten yeah nice eight out of ten really really well look at that well how about that fruit cake chronicle fruit cake chronicles fruit cake chronicles fruit cream plates topical fruit, cream brulee chronicles topical Ointment. fruit <laughs> Well, thanks again at Petite Nick on uh, Twitter for suggesting the Fruitcake Chronicles. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you so thank much. You. Maybe we'll come back and review one of the others. Probably not. We're, yeah, probably, we probably not. Won't. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many of them; it's hard to choose. Yeah, that's true. It's I true. mean, yeah. well, thanks a bunch for uh, for listening. Uh, if you want to send us a movie or a series of movies you'd like us to review, you can reach out on Twitter at Cineplex Podcast or via email at Cineplex Podcast at Gmail dot com mm, dot com 30 m's nope just <laughs> just the normal the normal spelling dot com dot com oh thanks for listening thank you so much i'm henry harrison my name is gray my name is kyle and thanks for listening Bye bye